Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. Hello and welcome to the Mega Bread Van channel. Um, it's been a little while since I've done a proper video, uh, say proper video. The last one was about the, the bus we stayed in in um, Normandy. Uh, but now we're back home, it's time to, to get on with a few other things. But I thought I'd do a catch up video, uh, sort of another vlog, so to speak, because um, I've got a few things to talk about um, that do involve the van. Uh, but uh, not, it's not going to be a doing video, so to speak. That's going to come next. Um, so at the moment we're a bit busy because um, we're moving furniture about and uh, I think I told you uh, probably, well, it's get, well last September, um, I guess, with the last video I told you about that. Um, my father-in-law passed away um, back then. So we've had quite a, a bit of a rough time uh, last uh, autumn up until Christmas. Then, of course, we've got COVID, so that's been interesting. And so we've been through sort of the, I suppose you would say, the grieving process. And uh, then we had the getting well process. And so things have been very slow, um, which is a shame because, uh, you know, I really need to get on with uh, developing my channel a little bit, really. So we've been moving... Uh, furniture from the house which is just next door here uh, it's where my parents-in-law lived uh, so it's not really very far to carry things but using the van does make things a lot easier when it comes to carrying a lot of things so that's what I've been doing basically and the last few weeks I've made probably um, I don't know how many trips but uh, quite a few um, the latest trip is uh, moving just open my back doors here latest trip is sort of moving some some furniture uh more furniture in fact um so that's what i've been up to really um that's why i've been so quiet but um i want to also use this video to talk about um things that uh, are afoot uh things that are going to be in the future so first of all um what i'm going to do is i think i'll show you a few uh bits and pieces that are to do with the camera because uh the camera I'm using the DJI Osmo. It's something that is quite new to me. I'm still getting used to it, still getting used to filming with it because I noticed in my last video um, there was a lot of wobble and I'm not sure why that was. Um, it's okay now on this uh, sort of selfie stick on tripod, but uh, I was a bit disappointed because the camera was sort of like shaking about quite a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my phone to film because obviously I'm filming with this. I want to show you a few things on my camera. So we're back to the old days of using my phone uh, to film so that I can film my camera. So um, the setup is, uh, well, first of all, I don't know if this is going to focus or not, but um, hopefully you'll be able to see things properly. Um, the setup is a little bit haphazard because um, I'm trying to use my cordless um, microphone here uh, but um, unfortunately on a DJI Osmo you need to have an adapter which is this square thing you can see on the side here. I'll just film a bit further out so it won't be all blurred. Um, yeah, so unfortunately um, I also found out that you need to have a cable plugged into the adapter for the um, receiver to work. So I sort of worked that out by trial and error really. But obviously, um, it's not ideal. So that means I've had to, to Velcro fit um, the receiver onto my selfie stick. Um, that's not ideal either because it keeps moving about. But uh, for the minute, it's just temporary. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the setup now. Uh, in fact, it's strange really because if I just lean that up against, up against there because I wanted to, to talk about the mounting that's on here. Um, so this big blue mounting um was made by my friend adam he 3d printed it for me um and i'm so grateful because he's been printing out a few things um i think one of the things was um a lens cap which i seem to have mislaid uh, it's probably in my pocket oh here it is hang on a second it is there i've just got, got it in my pocket so yeah so a nice dgi osmo lens cap so that's quite useful because the lens cap didn't come with the 
the camera. But yeah, so I made this wonderful fitment. So that means that I can have this adapter on the side um, because normally the cage that comes with the camera fits all the way around and hides the USB port. So you can't plug that in. So yeah, so that's ideal. But then I found that um, strangely, um, when I put the, the mount in, uh, it would wobble about everywhere as well. So the wobble that I had in the last video wasn't anything to do with that. But um, I found that by changing the, because before I had this mount in it, and I had this spare mount from somewhere, so I changed the mounts over and this stopped wobbling. Uh, so that's ideal. So thank you very much, Adam, for the... Uh, the mount that's excellent so the other useful thing about this camera is the fact that with using this cordless mic which is a very cheap one really compared to the the ones that um, tend to be used on youtube because uh, i i don't want to spend a lot of money really but um yeah because it's a cheap mount it can be a bit temperamental and i found using it on my phone previously uh suddenly it will cut off and that was really really frustrating but on this camera it's very good because on the screen here that I've got in front of me you can actually see that it's picking up when I'm talking so you've got a little icon that goes up and down so that's brilliant but uh, talking about 3d printing um, for my birthday back in January my friend Adam did me a nice combi uh, 3d print you see so it's very generous with his 3d prints it's really nice of him but um, I was talking to him actually about um, things for the van and looking online to see if there's anything to do with 8SAM or Mega uh, available as um, a plot file that can be 3D printed. And the only thing I found, well, the only things I found were uh, some uh, logos and uh, this. Uh, so this is down as being an 8SAM accelerator pedal, but unfortunately it doesn't fit on the Mega uh, because on the back you have uh, sort of two loops take it around the other way with a clip and i'm assuming that it would fit on the pedal had i not got a pedal on it already because basically it's all one piece well it's two pieces but they're welded together so you've got the pedal which is like a, a curve shape which i'll show you in a minute because it's down below here um and um, that is welded onto like a stalk which then goes up onto the um, the spring and the accelerator cable. So uh, had that metal pedal not been welded to the stalk, then I think this would have fitted, but it doesn't. So um, thinking about that, I was talking to, um, to a chap called um, Steve on um, Twitter, and he is quite keen on 3D printing like Adam, and uh, he said to me that um, if I wanted, it's very generous of him, but if I wanted, I could um, measure, measure the pedal and see if we could find a cover for it. Because I'll show you the pedal in a minute uh, so you can see what I mean. But um, he suggested that if I did some measurements, then he would be able to create a plot file to then either himself or Adam could basically print off. So... It's just something I'm looking at at the moment, but it could be it could be interesting to see what we could do, or what is available for the van that can be 3D printed. It's just another thing. Well, I'm not promising anything for the minute because this is all early days, but it's it's something that's worth considering. So you can see down here. I'm getting a bit closer. It's a bit precarious for me to get in into the uh, underside of the cab, but um, you can see you've got the, the accelerator pedal here. And this stalk goes underneath, and I've got a painful knee. Ouch! Uh, <laughs> um, hazard of filming in cramped places. Uh, yeah, the stalk goes underneath the pedal and is welded to it. So I'd assume that this, the two loops would go over the stalk here and then clip onto onto there. But unfortunately, on my van. Unlike the cars, you've got this big hump thing in the way. Because when you press the pedal down, it actually there's a limit because it just touches the the floor, and that's as far as it'll go. It's not much play. 
which means that uh, when you're driving, it can be extremely sensitive. Um, so that is not ideal. But having said that, it could be interesting to have some sort of cover on here so you've got a bit more grip because you're straight onto this metal. See if that will glue some rubber on the top, but I'd rather have something you can take off uh, rather than having something that's permanently on there. Um, you know, it's just some, some thoughts of mine anyway. Talking of the, the floor, um, I've also bought some flooring. So we'll have a look at that. So you'll have to excuse the state of the, the cabin here. It's a mess because, well, apart from going backwards and forwards to the house next door, I've not actually been driving the van um, much. And you sat here throughout the winter and not a lot's happened in the cab. So we're full of sort of cobwebs and, and things, and it's a little bit dirty. And um, we've had, well, as you've probably seen, we had this Sahara sand uh, storm, uh, well, sandstorm that's uh, basically been evaporated up into a cloud and then dumped on, on France. So we've had a lot of sand everywhere, and as you can see on the, on the windscreen, it's still covered in sand, and uh, as is the, the bonnet. So, yeah, that's not really ideal. So, anyway, um, my brother-in-law helpfully told me about uh, a promotion that was happening at Lidl. Um, because, I guess it's the same in all the countries um, where there's Lidls. Um, the one here, they, they bring out a catalogue. And then they release things on a certain date. And there's a mad rush for things to, well, people to um, go and buy the things that... Uh, are on sale um but um generally that means uh, things like tools and drills and routers and um routers is it router in english or in french router that's it um so uh woodwork tools and basically general diy stuff uh but occasionally they have very unusual things as well and um, one of the unusual things they had was this I'll try to hold it upside down. It's in French anyway, so but um, tapis de coffre anti dérapant, so a non-slip mat. Okay, I bought two of them, but it's um, well, it's designed for your boot in the car. But having looked at it, it's quite thin rubber. It's like flooring, really. Um, so it's quite quite thin and floppy. Um, and it wasn't very expensive. I think it was nearly five euros for each one. And they're one meter by one meter. So I was thinking, looking at the floor of my van, these would be ideal to be glued down onto the floor um, because I have no flooring. I bought this van and it's just got plastic um, on the floor. And it's not really ideal because that can get damaged quite easily. And once it's damaged, as you've seen on the repair I've done in the corner of the cab, um, with the um, plastic slurry um, it's not really easy to repair either um, so yeah I think this will be a good a good thing it might help with the condensation issue as well so I bought two of those so a future date that's going to be another project I need to glue it onto the floor I bought some um, floor mats as well so those will be won't be very slippy on top of the, the rubber flooring I'll try to lift it up but if you can see here, you've got like a, bring it in a bit closer, you've got a diagram there, and they're, they're basically um, mats that are designed to be cut out to different shapes. So they're really quite heavy. I mean, they're quite thick rubber, but, um, and they've got, uh, oh, they've got spikes on them. I didn't notice that. Got spiky effect on there. So they could be, they could be useful, I think. So I've decided to buy those, and uh, I think that's as far as I went with the, the purchases from Lidl. But uh, yeah, it's, it's quite ideal to, to look out for these things. So it's another project now. So I've got the front of the, the car to get the car, the van, I mean, to get on with. Um, so that's the next thing to do, and that's what I'm going to film. I'm going to film some of that today, I think. Um, and I've got the flooring to do. I've got the flooring to do in the back as well. And eventually, there's going to be some, some painting going on. Um, but I think, first of all, uh, the back end is going to be be protected with some varnish, some clear varnish, because uh, 
going through the winter, it just gets marked and messed up. And I think having a shiny coat at the moment is getting a bit rough because it's, I don't think it's ever been treated or anything or painted or whatever since it, since it was new. So getting something that's shiny and repellent on it might help with the, the fact that we're surrounded by these trees that dump all sorts of gunk on, on top of a white van. So that's another thing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the channel so far with all the the various videos I've done since uh, probably about two years now. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying them. But uh, I'm, I'm learning as I go along. So excuse the early videos. They're a little bit amateurish. And I suppose I'm still a bit amateurish now because I've just changed my camera. But um, you know, it's something I'm learning all the time. Um, so you just have to tell me what you think of my efforts and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and uh, stay safe. See you in another video. Bye. Quand je reviens dans mon Edison, au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne. One, two, three, four, testing, testing, testing.